First, first we're gonna give all the double honors to the elders of Apostle Great Millstone. Side teachers for the hopeful elect and the first teachers for true sincerity. Shalom to the to the elect and the elders of Apostle Great Millstone. Shalom. Alright, Shalom. Alright, we are the Hebrew Israelites. We come in week in and we got the prophesied and downfall of America, alright? I can tell our our brother and the so called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, with true nationality according to the Bible. Right, we're coming to tell you that your kingdom is coming, all right, and the world that you know it is coming to an end, all right, all right. The very world that you see is coming to an end, all right. The very lifestyle, all right, the money that you have in your pocket is all coming to an end, all right, because the de dollarization is, is coming very soon, all right. BRICS just had their, their uh, summit, you know, and then I believe Putin took or brought up, even brought up how. Uh, uh, their progression is moving so fast that the de-dollarization is happening very soon, right? right you know? And they've already projected just on the spending, just on the spending, if you, if you measure by spending alone, um, the BRICS have a higher spending power than the, uh, than the G7, right? Yeah. And only just that, you got 200 banks to shut down as we speak. 200 banks this month has been shut down. Right? And they were so all, they were, they were all like credit card banks, debit card banks, <laughs> Hey man, this 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 economy, the world's economy is about to collapse. Okay. Yeah. So, let me bring out. Yeah, bring out uh, Hebrews 13, 14, uh, 13, sorry, 12. This book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 12. Wherefore, Yahweh Shah also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth, therefore, unto him without camp, bearing his reproach. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Right, and that, and that's exactly that's exactly what us brothers is doing. We on the highways and hedges, you know, crying and crying and sighing for the abomination of done in the midst of world because, like, pursuing the mighty two and ten, the brother can get it. Um, you know, this is this is not our rest. You know, our rest and our kingdom is Israel, that we have to right now labor and fish and fish for men in order for Yahweh to come back and give us our land back, which is which is our continuing city. And what is that continuing city? That's the, that's the kingdom of heaven because we know that, that that city will never end once the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Semi Indians are in are back into the fold, back into the rulership with, under Yahweh Shah and King David. God, and just to uh, just to add on to what the brother just said, uh, let's be realistic. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans do not have a continuing city because what place or land on this earth can we call our own? Even if you call yourself. Puerto Rican, Dominican, Haitian, Jamaican, whatever you want to call yourself, West Indies, you are what? Your nations are subject unto what? The so-called white man and their imperialism. So we have no continuing city. We have no actual sovereignty. We don't have our own language, right? We don't have our people all together in one land where we can build our own businesses and, and, and have our own empire, man. This is why another reason why we say we have no continuing city. Hey, we're we're in this we're in this Shabbat right now. Until sunset, right? And here it is. You still got businesses open. You still got people going to work, right? If this was our society and our kingdom, hey, this would be a ghost town right now. Mm -hmm. You know, being those Shabbat. Yep. You know, there'll be nobody be, on the street. There'll be nobody on the street unless you was going to like, you know, what I mean, somebody crib or something. That's all you would see. You wouldn't see cars on the road. You wouldn't see people walking down the street unless they were traveling to a congreg to congregate or break bread or something of that sort. Other than that, there'll be no businesses open. All right, this is Micah 2 and 10. I rise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And it, exactly. And this, and this Babylon, so-called, you know, spiritually Egypt, especially Babylon that we call America, you know, is a, is, a, is a sore destruction, and this is not our rest. You know, in our rest, we're not going to have, you know, uh, uh, you know, polluted water, you know, chemtrail airs, you know, obviously Esau rulership. You know, like it says in Proverbs 29 and 2, it says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Nobody's rejoicing now in this situation, let alone the Israelites that like the brother just brought out, that we are in the lowest state and we have no type of ownership or anything. All we are is oppressed by the wicked in general. And so, so, and, and then Bob, you know, some brothers like to say, uh, oh, they have a five-year, six-year plan, 
or they're stacking into the 401k, you know, rough, uh, 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 what's that, uh, rough RAs, looking forward to the future when the real Israelites, the real men of the Lord, know that in the near future, Yahweh is going to come back and destroy this place and set us back into Israel. So we, we're not holding stake in this particular wicked situation because we know that the, 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 the pollution and everything that has to go on with this place is a sore destruction to us. Anybody who, who join hand in hand with this philosophies and the idols of this particular world will be destroyed. So you, you shouldn't even put your hand in, un, unto that because you will be destroyed in general. Okay. Right, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Second Peter. Uh, yeah, I got you. Go ahead. Second Peter chapter three, and I'm gonna start at verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but it's long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. Right, and that's that's exactly and that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're waiting very patiently for Yahweh Shah to come back because we're, we're we're in a long suffering situation. All the things the brothers go through, you know, tribulation is all conditioned to the battle. It's all part of the game. But we know in the near future, you know, um, in the near future, Yahweh Shah is coming back. So in the meantime, we need to repent. That way, we're in the best position possible. So when Yahweh Shah does come back, we can get about this place and have that continuous yep, city. have a continuous city. Kind of. Verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works there are therein shall be burned up. Kind. And that's exactly what we're doing. See, now when you were when when you were when you were a real man of the Lord and you and you really in his ministry doing the work, we know that that Yahweh Bashim Yahshad coming as a thief in the night. That way, and that that way, that will keep you on your P's and Q's with the ministry, doing your videos on the hobbies and hedges with your brothers, breaking bread, because we know that, like what it, what it says in um, our brother, he's still in the same chapter where it says, what uh, what 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 uh, what manner should you be in holy conversations? Yeah. Yeah. So you better off just you better off staying in the spirit and being in the spirit because in, in the near future, your Hobbit shot is gonna come and it ain't gonna let you know what's gonna happen. Kind so, of, it's part of being on your watch too, God. because your Hobbit shot can't tell us the day and hour because your Hobbit shot doesn't know. Correct. But what the Most High did give you, Hawa Shai, is signs and wonders, a prophecy of what's to come, and, and you can know what time you're in based on that. So Hawa Shai gave us uh, times and prophecies and certain things to look for. So by being in the spirit, you're ultimately what in the spirit of prophecy, which is what Hawa Shai. Hawa Shai. Hawa Shai. Second Edges six and nine. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Kind. And that's beautiful because in my last video, I had a little analogy. I'm not better than this brother right here, though. But I look at this thing as this. He says, just he said, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that followed. I look at this like this. We're in the we're in the last chapter of a particular book in general, and the, and, and Jacob is the, is the new sequel up, up ahead, yeah, ahead sequel, to it, yeah. right? And we're looking for so why we're the last page of the last chapter. So once we get rid of that, why speak about this anymore when we have a, a whole sequel coming forth, like a new movie that everybody looking forward to? Yeah. A new franchise. Correct. Correct. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue back into Second Peter three, and I'm gonna go back to ten because the brother just said Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of the follower. This all lands back. It says. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. The earth also, and the works there are, that are therein shall be burned up. And this is the end of Esau's world, right? The Lord is cleansing the earth with fire, man. And what happens when you have, like, volcano eruptions or, or, or wildfires, man? What happens after a certain period of time? You see nothing but what? New growth, right? Rebirth. Plants and animals start to come back. Things are renewed in, in a mightier way. The plants are actually stronger. The trees are growing stronger because everything is what? Fertile, right? Verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hastening unto the coming of day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's a beautiful thing. That, that, like, you know, a couple verses before put you, in, put you in, in, in context with that. Why put your money in something that you guarantee already know is going, is going to be a guaranteed loss? Why would you want to do that? So now that we know the Lord gave us the, the, the mysteries of the kingdom and the time frame as, as far as prophecy, that we can see that this kingdom is nearly to an end and our kingdom is coming very, very shortly. So we must well transition our brain into the new kingdom and let this one go because we know for a fact it's going to be burnt up and destroyed. There's no reason to put your money down on something that you guarantee to lose. That's that's, that's just a bad bet. Kind of. 
Verse 13, nevertheless, we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwell of righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Uh, get get, uh, get uh, second, second Peter 1 and 10 and 11. And that's, and that's beautiful. That's beautiful because that's exactly what we're supposed to do. It. The uh, scripture says, put on, put on as the elect. Or, or I would like to say spiritually, fake it till you make it. So we, we're going to do whatever we got to do to, to put ourselves in the best position possible that when Yahweh shall come back with the holy angels, we get delivered out here. So we're going to keep diligently. And also that Yahweh Shai is super, super near. Like he's, he's at the door. You know, we used to get the time where, you know, when Yahweh, we always say this, uh, this phrase, Yahweh, when Yahweh Shai comes back, when Yahweh Shai comes back, no, Yahweh Shai is here. Like he's showing us the signs that he's here. The God. fires throughout That's the world, like the wildfires, the plagues. God, no, the, the, spirit, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is here. Um, it says, um, beautiful out. Right. What's that? What's that in Second Ezra? It says, uh, when you see if the signs pass, Oh, see uh, that the most high begins to visit the earth. Oh, not, not, yeah. not, not, uh, uh, not. Yeah, it's not. Hey, that's God. like that's what the brother is saying, man. That spirit of Yahweh Shai is here because we're seeing those what diverse earthquakes and pestilence, and we're starting to see wickedness uh, abiding at all, all a uh, high level, not just in the people, but in the elites and the different things that they're doing. You know, with their weapons and different things like that, and also uh, their nakedness is being uncovered because. You go on like TikTok and Twitter and stuff, and people are talking about like that, that the so-called wildfires in Maui. How people are breaking down the direct energy weapons. You got CIA uh, whistleblowers and all that, man. Uh, you oh, want this right? Oh, yeah. I got. It. I got, it. I got, it. I got it. Second Peter one, and let's ten, start. Ten, ten, no, start ten. Ten. Yeah, ten. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things. He shall never fall. And that's beautiful right there. See, that's what I'm saying. Brothers being diligent and, and they keep on going week in and week out with the videos and breaking bread with their brothers. That way you in the best position possible to ultimately as a hopeful elect to be delivered. Just like how, you know, I always bring up my little football analogies. How are you going to make it to the NFL or next level if you're not putting your feet drills in or you're not lifting weights or you're not stretching? Right. If you're not doing these things, you're not in the best position possible to exactly. be in the position to start rather than somebody else, other brothers being very diligent and putting that work in. Hey, what, what does it say? We're running a race. Correct. If you don't train and condition yourself when the race comes, yep. you're not going to be uh, you're not going to be physically capable mm -hmm. of finishing the race because you didn't do like the brother said. You didn't do the stretching. You didn't do the conditioning work. Right. Uh, you didn't do the mobility work. You didn't do the drills and the strides and work on your pace. You didn't yep. do none of those yep. things. You didn't time yourself. You didn't time yourself. Yeah. So when the race come, you running, and they say, no, you pull a hand, yep. or you gas out, and you don't finish the race. Uh, oh, uh, you have more on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah the one that's like, locked. Yeah. And, and, and the brother's going to bring out why you want to put yourself in the best position by, do, by breaking bread with your brothers and doing the ministry. For so an entrance, verse 11, for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly, in the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. That's why we're doing this, brothers. Yeah, we 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 putting ourselves in the best position possible to ultimately be delivered. Like the brother right, brother, brother, brother Shalawamia. More than likely, listen, it's at a point now, the work that we put in, and it's more to be done. But if we get beamed up, I'm not surprised. It's, it's, it, it, the scriptures keep saying that if you do the work of the Lord, the, the labor of love it. is going to be not in vain, and also say your, your reward shall not fail. So it's only right. You, you know, know what I mean? Especially different. when brothers are sincere and they genuine in this thing. So book of Proverbs chapter 13. And I'm actually going to start at 1 to give context. It says, A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth, openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. The soul of the sluggard desireth, and have nothing but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Now, I bring that out. I bring that out because we're talking about uh, uh, give diligence okay. to, sh to show your uh, your uh, calling and election sure, right? So there's a difference between people, there's a difference between those who talk a good game, right? Right? And there's those who actually give due diligence and work the things that they man that they speak of. The scriptures say, seek ye the kingdom of heaven and everything will be added on to you. So we must give diligence, right? We must give, give diligence to make our calling and election sure, right? And it says, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Now, why is the soul of the diligent be made fat? Because we are uh, 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 stacking up treasures in heaven, right? Because of a, a, a diligent. 
Because we are stacking up um, treasures in heaven, man. Hold on, I, might, I got another precept. Salaki Akim. I got, I got, a, I got a little parfait. Okay. A little parfait. A little parfait. Uh, I'm still in Proverbs. Proverbs, uh, Proverbs chapter 10. And I'm going to start at uh, verse 3. It says, Yahweh will not suffer the soul of the righteous to vanish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. See, it casteth away the substance. What is substance? It means your 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 what? Your 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 your, your treasures, your right? Values, your yeah. values, man. He's going to cast them away, right? He he becometh poor that dealeth with the slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. And how are we being made rich? We're being made rich in the spirit, and we're what? We're uh, we're uh, uh, storing up treasures in heaven, man, that do not uh, uh, rust nor uh, moth that do corrupt, man. Right? Because we're showing diligence. So what we're doing right now, even on the Shabbat, week in and week out, well, we've given diligence unto the Lord, man. Why? To make our calling and election sure and to what? To see that new what? That new heaven and that new earth. Right? Go on out. This is Luke 12, and I'm going to start at 31. Uh, but rather seek ye the kingdom of the Most High, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Uh, first Corinthians 15. Sell that ye have and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approaches, neither moth corrupted. For where your treasure is, there will also your heart be. Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding. That when he cometh and knocketh, he may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. Hey, so hey, no matter which watch that the, our Lord comes, he's going to find us doing what? Watching. And what is part of that watching? It's not just actually watching the news, but it's the actions that come with it. Uh, making our bodies a living sacrifice, giving alms, being charitable, doing this work, feeding the sheep. Those are the things that are pleasing unto our Lord, that when he comes, he's going to find us doing good works. It says, verse 39, And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou of this parable unto us, uh, of even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household, to give them portion of meat in due season? You got that, that first kind of Blessed is that servant whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find doing so. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. I'm gonna go down to 46. It says, yeah, I'm gonna go down to 46 and you're there. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. Mm -hmm. But if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and the maidens, and to eat and drink and be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him asunder, and will appoint him his portions with the unbeliever. Sheesh, which is what? Which is what? What's the portion of the unbeliever? Yeah, the unbeliever. What's the portion? Yeah. There you that's go, brother. Death. death. That second death, man. Yeah, second, that's second death, death right? God, that's, 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 that's heavy. Heavy. That was heavy. That was heavy. more, but... Yeah, but I, I have a strong point because you know scriptures always good. Either. Yeah, and it's, this parable, yeah, and that it's, parable, it's, nah, I get it, but yeah, he has that's, a while. Yeah, that's the point. Though. <laughs> you got uh, got that first Corinthians. 15? First Corinthians fifteen. I'm gonna start at uh, thirty nine because it gives the whole roll. Okay. This is first Corinthians fifteen thirty nine. All flesh is not the same, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. And that's, and that's beautiful. So obviously, uh, you know, th this is the chapter of in Corinthians where you want to go to understand the body the Lord created. Uh, uh, obviously, there, there's a there's a flesh for all different styles of animals. 
and all and all different manners of bugs and etc. But there you have the celestial of the of a humanoid type of body, celestial of the heavens, and also and also the uh, terrestrial of uh, the earthly which we're in right now. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, you have to break that down. There are the point to it. Go ahead, brother. There are also celestial bodies, mm -hmm. bodies terrestrials, but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. Yeah. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars. But one star is different from another star in glory. And that's also that's also beautiful. Uh, stars remind me of like snowflakes. Right. There's trillions of them, but every single one is different in their own little special yeah. way. Same thing like the stars. Stars are all all have their own glory, but they're all different and they're all great in their own little way. If I may, brother, just to add on to that, another another uh, good point that the, the scripture is making is that, and if you under have this understanding, remember. The uh, terrestrial can't put on what the celestial is, yep. is, is to achieve, right? Uh, yep. So the new heaven and new earth, you must have what? A celestial body to be able to walk through the kingdom of heaven, right? There's a glory for the terrestrial and there's a glory for the celestial. The glory for the terrestrial is this side right now, man. You know, these chains of darkness, the body that you have now, uh, dust to dust, ashes to ashes, right? But the glory of the kingdom of heaven, the new world to come is the celestial, right? Meaning it, it, it's a continuous city that goes on forever and ever. And guess what you get with that? Immortality to be able to what? Enjoy the forever and ever. Man. That's a beautiful point that's made in this, uh, this, this scripture. Keep going. It's 42. So also is the res resurrection of the dead. It is shown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is shown in dishonor. It was raised in glory. God. So it, it, it's even saying that the, 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 the fleshly bodies are what? Are made for dishonor. Right? Keep going, brother. They're they going to be out here, man. Uh, this 44. It was sown in dishonor and raised in glory. It, it is sown in weakness and is raised in power. Uh -huh. it, is, it is sown a natural body and is raised a spiritual body. Mm -hmm. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Okay. And it was written, the first Adam was made a living soul. Mm -hmm. The last Adam made a quickening spirit. And you mm -hmm. know what? A root, and also the uh, the, the piece on that. What is the reason why these these um these, these bodies terrestrial are made are made in corruption because we're the flesh. Right. They're subject to sin. But yeah. those but those celestial bodies are made in power and in corruption because they have the law, sexual commandments built in the inward parts, which makes them in power yeah. and they not sin. Which is imperative yeah. if you want. To be in the kingdom, kingdom of heaven, heaven. God, yeah. and right. you can only get that <laughs> if you be diligent and do the work until you have Bashan Al Shah, man. Because he gave us uh, complete instructions, right, on how to obtain immortality, on how to obtain salvation, and how to obtain the kingdom of heaven. This, the Bible teaches you, uh, the Bible teaches an Israelite man how to be a God. God, correct. That's God, that's correct. Huh? That, that Israelite man is going to be an Allah which means power. Every mm -hmm. Israelite man, woman, and child is going to be a, a in the future are going to be uh, a lowercase g Allahim. Mm -hmm. Correct. Lowercase nah, nah, God, I like how you God. put that. Lowercase g because I I'm never going to sit here and stand. Mm -hmm. huh. Not yeah, Lord is the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Bro brothers in uh, in the video it always <coughs> says many Yahweh's or many Yahweh Shah. You gotta remember, a God is just a title. Bro. Yeah, yeah. It is. that's but, why but, that's why they say that's why they say the Most High God, right? Right. Because He's the highest power. Right. Whereas we are many. Many gods, many, right? yeah, we're many God, versions of bro. Him. We're many versions of him, bro. We're gods oh, upon the earth. We're incredible. All the things that he can do, he can do. <laughs> we can do it. That's incredible to think about. Yeah. That's just like, wow. Or great. And that's entitled children. Now, the only thing I don't think we might be able to do is to kill spirits. Right. That's the only thing we ain't going to be able to do. <laughs> no, we ain't going to get that. Hey, listen. Yeah, we ain't going to get that. However the Lord God said what the power is. We like, don't know. Well, the Lord, Lord could probably send a request. Like, look, I need I need to take, put a petition uh, I, need, I need to take this man's spirit out. I don't want him coming back. You know, I might be like... So Whatever you shall ask in the Father through me, the Lord might be like, but, but see, I like because you know you ain't gonna do it unrighteously. <laughs> right, right. So your 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 request for taking that spirit out is gonna be righteous. Right. So he's gonna be like, Lord, this is his look. Boom. The judge gonna be like, you are the judge. Right. You are the big dog. Yeah, He's so judge. Yeah. You might be the judge, but it might go have to go to the Supreme Court. It might have to go to the Supreme Court. You might have to go to the Supreme Court. Like, yo, this is gonna need to go now. A thousand yeah. years can't come sooner. Put a petition to Yahweh Shah. <laughs> this spirit, spirit right here needs to just go. Yo. Keep going up. The whole there was a point. I was trying to get you to get the 58. Yeah, because that last verse, but, but right. it's beautiful. Yeah, go, ahead. Yeah. Go, go, okay. through, go through it. It's 46. How bet that was not how be first? It. How be it, Shalaki? This how be it that was not first, which is spiritual, 
but that which is natural, and after is which is spiritual. Mm -hmm. The first man is of the okay, earth, so earthly, right. and the second man is from the Lord from heaven. Mm -hmm. As is as is earthly, so are they are also that are earthly. And as they are, is the heavenly, such are they are also that are heavenly. Forty nine. As he had born in the image of the earthly, we shall born the image of the heavenly. Mm -hmm. Now this I say, brethren. That flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Mm -hmm. Behold, I show you a mystery. Oh, we shall all not sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, <clears throat> for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised in incorruption, and we shall all be changed. So, right here, it's saying that we all shall not sleep, meaning all of us not are not going to see death. To be put to sleep means to be put to death. All are not going to be put to death, man. They're there are going to be many brothers who are going to see the coming of Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. They're going to see him. They're going to feel the, pow the power, the rumbling of the earth and see the armada of chariots in the fathership crack the sky, man. And they're going to see great glory and power, man. And then there are going to be those that are going to be raised from the dead to still see uh, uh, this great coming. But it's going to be those who make it completely to the end, man. To the end, y'all. You know? Because we know the dead in Yahweh Shah shall rise first. Kind of. and, you know, that's, and that's also continuing with the brothers saying, brothers that's still alive going to see that part. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to come out the good. graves and then get those spiritual bodies and they're get gonna beamed be, up. They're beamed up. They're going to have that, that chance, man. Yeah, oh, that's great. And then also, this is, uh, 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 like we already kept saying, this is all, also very important because what? It just, we just brought it out. The terrestrial cannot put on or cannot inherit the, what is called the celestial or the spirit. It says the flesh, the man was uh, made, made first, but the spiritual man was made second, man. Meaning we will become spirit. Just like Adam was spirit when he was first created, we will be, get those new spiritual bodies where we will become spirit again. Where the laws will be written into our inner parts like the brother brought out, and we will what? Inherit the kingdom of heaven. So we are, we are not worried about this world that we're living in right now. We understand that we must uh, uh, live in this world, but we don't, we don't sit here and we're not of the world, all right? God's amongst men. This is a mortal world. Everything is mortal. Okay. This is fifty. Now that I say this, oh, no, no, Shalaki. Fifty, fifty-two. Shalaki. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised in corruption, and we shall all be changed. For this corrupt. Corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks to be God. Which given us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Sayyid Masiyah. John, because who was the first one to, to defeat death? Yahweh Shai. Right? Yahweh Shai defeated death. He rose on the third day, defeated death. He would never taste death ever again. That was his one and only time. Well, he reincarnated a few times. But that was his last time. Right? And we were what? We were going to be fashioned unto what? The Lord. Our bodies will be fashioned unto his. Right? Our, 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 our minds will be fashioned unto his. Right? And we get this through what? By laboring, by enduring, by doing the work. These things must be uh, uh, must uh, be done to inherit what is almost inheritable, uh, uninheritable, right? Other nations can't inherit what we're going to inherit by birthright. So we need to put on and make our calling and election sure by giving due diligence. Go ahead, up. And this is 58 that the brother asks, Therefore, my brethren, be ye steadfast, Unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord Yahweh Yahweh. So there we go. That's, that doesn't even need a breakdown. Our labor is not in vain. The things that we're doing, the works that we are fulfilling, is proven and showing our faith unto the world and unto the Lord and the angels, right? These are the things we must do so we can obtain that continuing city. Because I'm sorry. I would prefer to have nothing but Jake's walking up and down the street and everybody happy and smiling and nobody worried about, look, we got Jake's our, our, our Jake's in front of us, man, that are in a lower estate, man, and it pains me to watch it. It pains me to watch our people in a lower estate. I'm like 77. 
it pains me to see them uh, 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 not being able to take care of them themselves the way they want. Or the fact that we have broken families and our, our own brethren are treating each other wrong, man. Being cast out, being left in the ditch, man. And in our continuous city, there will be none of that. Poverty will be a, a will be a a, 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 a past dream. It'll be a past dream, like the nation of Israel. Somebody, about, bro, where? Yo, you ain't gonna find man, where? Those hey, words can't even be uttered. Can't yeah, even be uttered. Yo, you know what? Um, a, a lot of brothers, which, which is obviously true, the lowest, the lowest, lowest Israelite in the kingdom is gonna be greater than a trillionaire on this side. Yeah, so that the elites on the left hand side wouldn't even be able to hold a candle. To the, lowest to the lowest one in the kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord says He wants to give us in the but He abundantly pardon. He will abundantly give yeah. our heart's desire. And how do you get to your heart's desire? What you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta endure, endure into the end, man. You know we can't be of the world. We can't conform into the world. We already, when we came to this truth, knew we had to do what change. And you had to have great changes to be able to even to pick up the cross of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Scripture says, "No man that worth entangleth himself with the affairs of his life." Beautiful, huh? beautiful. You should have just got the precepts on the, for the camera. This is scripture you sing. I love uh, mother and father. Uh, no, brother, brother, mother, brother, yeah, mother, yeah, father. Yeah, I wish I yeah, said yeah, that. Yeah. Mother, brother, father, daughter, son, more, more than me. Second Timothy two and four: No man that warp entangleth himself with the affairs of his life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. See, so we we are that is our ultimate goal: to offend less and to please uh, the one that called us to be soldiers, man. Yahweh Shem Yahusha, man. We are literally soldiers behind enemy lines on the front lines, right? And we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, which is our uh, reasonable duty. But these things are the only way to what? To obtain the kingdom of heaven. Even the works that we do now is for the elect sake. And why? Because we know the elect is the first fruit. So if we can seal the elect, if we can, if we can seal the elect, the faster we seal the elect, the faster other prophecies will come to pass, man. You know, every, everything has its time and its measure. But Lord willing, man, the Lord takes our, 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 our sacrifice, our sacrifices, you know, our daily sacrifices and he accounts as his friends in the near future man uh, let me go jump down to 9 and 10 wherein i uh second timothy 2 9 and 10 wherein i suffer trouble as an evil doer doer even unto bonds that's like it wherein i suffer trouble as an evil doer even unto bonds but the word of yahweh is not bound Therefore, mm -hmm. I endure all things for the elect. See, the word of Yahweh is not bound. And what does the word bound mean? To be tied up or locked down. Yeah, locked down. Okay. Right? The, the spirit of the Lord, is, it quickeneth, man. It makes you free. Because what? The truth will set you free. So even though we endure like we are evildoers, we are enduring this world because everything that we, contrary to popular belief, everything that you see around you is literally wicked. Right? Everything is wicked. And even though we try to shine, shine bright, uh, shine bright, and be a light of the earth, they look at us as wicked because we're speaking down on their no normal lives, their everyday life. Man, go ahead. It says, "Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain salvation, which mm -hmm. is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach with eternal glory." And, and and that was the that was the 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 mission that was given to us when we woke up. Go what? Endure all things for the elect's sake, seal the elect. Get it, get, get, uh, call them souls in, uh, plant them seeds. Because mind you, we cannot save anyone. We can't even wake anybody up. We can plant a seed because we speak as the oracles of Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, but we don't have the power to wake anybody up, man. It's of the Lord's doing, right? That's why we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. We take none for ourselves, man, but we take what was given to us cheerfully, man, and we thank the Lord for even the chance to be a soldier in his army, all right? Verse 11, it is faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Mm -hmm. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Mm -hmm. If we deny him, he will also deny us. See? Right? And guess what? That was clear, uh, distinct instructions right there and understanding. Read that part again, brother. Uh, it says, if we suffer, we shall do. Which one you want to do? Start up again? Yeah, yeah where, you, where you was at. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we it, shall also a, live with him. So, Salaki, brother. It's a faithful saying. 
if we be dead with him, read it again, Brother Slocky. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. See? So we if we if we're literally sacrificing ourselves on on this side, right? And giving up uh uh uh, uh giving up the world, right? So he that seeketh to lose his life shall to gain, gain it. Life. Kind. Giving up the world and presenting our bodies a living sacrifice and doing these things that literally will uh, 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 they get us ostracized on a daily basis, right? We're spiritually dying with Yahweh Shai. So what does that mean? That means we're going to live with him, right? Because we're giving it all up for him, right? We're denying right? our status, we're, we're, value in this world. What did the time? What did the uh, what did Yahweh Shai say to the rich man, right? When the rich man came, like, oh man, I'm trying to get down. Sell every, sell all he that said, you have "Sell all live. that you have." What, what was that doing? That was actually putting him to death. He was basically telling him to die, yep. die, and come follow me. Because I'm with my, I'm the truth in the life. Right, because that rich man probably owned land. Yeah, and he probably mm -hmm. big hundreds, 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 hundreds of horses. And, and Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai said to um, some of his, one of his disciples, said, "Lord, I want to follow with you wherever you go." And he said, "Well, listen." He said, "I don't even have a place to lay my head." Yeah, fox don't have no. Uh, he yeah, said, "Fox have yeah. holes." Yeah. He said, "I don't even fox have holes." And yeah, yeah. He said, "I don't even have a place to live where lay my head." Right. So if you want to follow me, yeah. just be ready for that. Yeah. How yeah. I just kind of was just like. Wherever he lay his head, yeah, he lay exactly. his head. Kind of, because what? Because if you read the Matthew 6 chapter, the Lord even tells uh, the men of the Lord, or you nation of Israel, to stop bitching. Yeah. He says, stop bitching. Literally, that's what he's basically saying. He says, stop bitching. And then he says, are you not better than the birds? Yeah, yeah. And, the, and, and the lilies and all this? Are you not better than them? Just the same way how Yahweh Shah moved on the earth. He didn't care. He just kept it moving. I'm going to do the Lord's work, and the Lord going to what? Give me my daily bread. Yeah, exactly. Yahweh Shah going to a town. Cause he said that to the disciples, like you right. go into a town and you you, you judging the town, you judging the spirits. Mm -hmm. You never know. You teaching the word. It's a family. They be yeah. like, hey, uh, how long are you gonna be in the city? Uh, uh, do you have any place to stay? I'm uh, just you know, come stay with us. Exactly. We'll feed you. We'll exactly. close you. Right. you know what I mean? And, and what? You, That's the spirit of the Lord. That's the spirit of the Lord. Keep, keep reading um, on that, brother. That's beautiful. It says, verse 12, 2 Timothy 2 and 12. If we suffer. We shall also reign with him. Mm. If we deny him, he will also deny us. Yeah. So the Lord is long suffering. So guess what? We must endure long suffering, right? And if we suffer with, with the Lord and pick up his cross and the burden of the, uh, uh, of the nation of Israel, right? And the burden of preaching and the burden of uh, 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 being a spectacle unto the people, right? Guess what? We will reign with him. Because what is, what is it that we want to obtain, right? We want to continue in city. We want the new spiritual bodies, but then we what? We want to be rulers of the new world, right? We will reign with him if we endure all these things. Go ahead. Um, verse thirteen. If we believe not, yet he abided faithful. He cannot deny himself. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they may that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Uh, study to show thyself approved. Oh, okay. Salaki, brother, get the word subverting. I know what it means, but I want to subverting. Subverting. Yeah. Subverting. I mean, it basically means to convert, but whatever. Subverting. Yeah. Edification's sake for the brothers. Subvert. 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 Subvert means undermine the power and authority mm -hmm. of an established system or institution. Mm -hmm. Now read the scripture again. It says, verse 14. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the errors. God, huh? So we we're making change unto them, man. We're subverting unto the hearers, man. When they hear this word, they should be what? Changed. They should their mindset. They should they or or cut or cut because what what does say the scriptures is, man? The scriptures are sharper than any two edged sword, right? Let me get that real quick. Finish this. Uh, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Con, rightly dividing the word of truth, man. And this is why we put on like the oracles of the Most High, man. We we don't speak for we don't speak of our own volition or of our own understanding. We speak as oracles of the Most High, uh, uh, moved by the Holy Spirit, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right. And you by and also by using the Comforter, right, because these words are comfort. But at the same time, they could be, read it. This is Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of, of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit mm -hmm. and the joints and marrow, 
and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. God. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open upon his eyes. Yeah, he, he was done after that. But beautiful outline. So this is this is what the word is, man. So we're trying to subvert or trying to change people's mindsets or make them think at least, right? Because what did I say? We plant seeds, right? The spirit of the Lord has to be on somebody. The Lord has to have favor on somebody to what? Wake them up or to get them to change their ways, man. You know, like uh, 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 I'll use this. Uh, uh, you know what? Let me not use that example because that could get us hit. But there was uh, a Saudi, I'm going to say it like this, named Andre Dotson, right? And he was openly, openly, openly Saudi. He, he found out that he was a Hebrew Israelite and literally on national TV, I think it was CNN or ABC, one of those, they, they interviewed him again and they were trying to ostracize him or make him look bad for basically saying, after I got the comforter and the spirit of the Lord on me and found out who I really am, that demon, that demon had popped off on me and he said, I want to have kids, I want a wife. I want to do, do things the right way and what offend less offend the Lord, right? So look, the, 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 the words are sharper than any two-edged sword, man. That's beautiful, actually. Time. I forgot he said that. Yeah, it was, it was, a, and they tried to, uh, they tried to ostracize him. You should have seen the lady, um, and that's, I'm not trying to get off topic, but you should have seen the lady, like, drilling him about his questions. Like, he made it very clear why he changed. And they, oh, so you telling me you just, uh, 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 uh. And she was just kind of giving, like, you know how reporters are always trying to, right. you know, get into some extra. What you got out? Oh, that's not good. Kind. Yes. I think oh, I'm yeah, I kind of. Oh, okay. I kind of. Oh, yeah, this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's the book. I'm, I'm going to get this real quick. The book of Proverbs. Let me see. Chapter 22. In verse 29, seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before mean men. Mind you, so if a, if a man is diligent in his business, and this is our work, this is our first job. Our jobs of the world is our is just to keep us uh, uh give us our daily bread, man. Keep us occupied in this time, you're right, brother. But this is the, this a man who's diligent in his business, right, will stand before kings, right? Meaning we will stand before Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. We will, Lord willing, be part of that number, and we will be kings and priests, man. We will have power on that side. You know, All right? You no, know, spiritually, that's respect, too. Con. That it man, is respect. When, when a man's diligent with his business, yep. you know, a businessman stands with businessmen, which are ultimately kings. Yep. You're going to be with like minded individuals, man. Right, yep. You know? And and this, so this is what you so called black Latinos and even Americans should be striving for, man. Is what, man? Is that immortality, man? Which is that, or, or when we first started, we started with what? That continuing city, man. The kingdom of heaven, man, where your hearts are, your heart's desire are granted unto you abundantly, right? Like being, a, I don't think people seem to understand what being a first fruits actually means, right? It's, it, it's, it's, it's the highest, it's the highest form, the highest honor we can get be bestowed upon by Yahweh Shah himself, to be able to stand with Yahweh Shah and he hands us a crown. And palms in our hands and say, yo, this is he, Kamamahar, who, who who stood boldly in front of the faces, in front of the people of those who afflicted and oppressed his people. Thou good old faithful servant. Thou good old faithful so servant. That's the best right? Ever, you standing there and you feeling power running through your spiritual veins and you just feel like you could just fly. And literally, you can, you can fly. You can, yeah. Right? If if you if 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 you Jakes, you so-called black Latinos and Americans don't have a rulership mentality, this ain't for you. Because it would it say is, is is Judah a homeborn slave? Are we meant to just be slaves from generation to generation to generation? The Lord said no. He said our 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 punishment is is accomplished, right? And because it's accomplished, and He has remembered His people, we must what do our due diligence to offend less and to be and to and basically to reconcile the contract with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It's because by reconciling the contract, he's going to give us everything that was already supposed to be inherited to us, man. By birth, your birthright. All right? This is why it says, seek ye the kingdom of heaven. Right? Seek the kingdom of heaven. And the Lord made very specific but easy, easy, easy 
uh, instructions on how to obtain it, man. Look at that. This is the greatest hit. Yeah, that's why Esau yeah. hated so much. Yep. Yo, if I was eating, I would have done so many things just to get that gift. They, now I understand they, they, why. They, they, but they're doing it. They're doing it. Right right right. like, wow, the fact man. that you have the mindset to think if I was an Edomite, I would be trying to do everything in my power yeah, like that to obtain. Sense. But it makes sense, though. It does. So that's why we can't be mad at them for being in their nature. Mm -hmm. Lord, I, Esau is in order, man. Like, yeah. He's being programmed in there, right? Second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. That's a beautiful thing that we in a time frame that, that, that we can do that now. You know, uh, we in the time frame and in the prophecy where, where the dry bones are going are to come up together and we're we doing that right now. And now we get opportunity to get the name back, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, and then repent. And then, and then from uh, be repenting, we're now in the position to get the, uh, to get our reconcile. land and reconcile to get our land back, man. And to come back into the ways of Yahweh Bashem El Shah to put us back into that into that time fold because we're in the time frame where the Israelites are now supposed to be rolling. Our time is now, and our our land will be healed because we're going back to the ways of Yahweh Bashem El Shah. Right. Take up the Hey, we know that when that my people is really just going into the elect. Right. It's really just going into the elect because we already know two thirds of our people are not going to repent uh, on this side, nor are they going to see salvation. All time uh, because uh, they're not going to repent. That's why the scripture says, uh, 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 "They who uh, have ears to hear, let them hear." And that's speaking about the elect because that's why we how we shall speak those parables. You know, specific ones knew what he was talking about, and many of them just was like, "What is he talking about?" Yeah, this just says it's given to you, you know the mystery, but the to them it's not yeah. given. No, no. I, this is Romans. Yeah, yeah. But go ahead. Uh, Romans right. thirteen and eleven, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for our salvation is nearer than we believe. Kind and the, and the spirit, the spirit is on us to know this. You know, it, 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 when you think about it, when us brothers be talking, it's like a tease and it's like a, a itch on us that, that's, that's knowing how close we really are. So which is the high time we got to sleep. So this is the prime time to be repenting because we're about to get beamed up from Yahweh Bashim Yahushua out of this place, man. It's crunch time, man. It's crunch time. Over time, bro. Yeah, as a matter of fact, that's a beautiful thing because playing sports, us brothers know, you know, first quarter, second quarter, you know, you're doing your thing, third quarter, okay. But when that fourth quarter yeah, comes, fourth quarter come, it's and, time to yeah, lock in. You, you, you get more energy, you get more focus, you're like, I'm really trying to win. It's like a yeah. it's like a peak of a drilling and right. kicking because you know how close it is, you got to win. Yeah, you yeah. might be down three points, you got to find a way to get three more or four and make that win. First, first, second quarter, maybe the third quarter, you got like some, team out. you got like some, you got starters resting, Kyle. third quarter, you got the uh, the second string or the third string in. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, now when fourth quarter come, you got your stars you resting. Got, yo, you, gotta, you got the lead in. You yo, gotta, 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 gotta going to have to play the whole quarter. Or, or even better, last last pair, let, that last analogy, look at like track. You run that 400, you run the first turn, cool. Like straight, straight away, I run that little by, by running the midway of the second. I put that kick in. Yeah, that's what it is, man. It's a high time to get that W and get that gold medal, right. which is the kingdom of heaven. That continuous seed that we keep on talking about since the start of this video. Verse 12 The night is far spent and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Mm -hmm. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering or wantonness, not in strife and envying. But be ye on the Lord, so like, but put ye on the Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Uh, mm. Not make provision oh, we, for the flesh. We made that. Uh, we made. We brought that out like two two camps ago about what uh, uh, putting on like you already have your celestial body. Exactly. So not for making provisions uh, uh, right. of your for your flesh. Not so, stacking so up what stacking so, up uh, 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 stuff in the to, to feed the flesh later on. Like right. yo, I gotta do this because mm -hmm. I need to. You know what I mean? No, you, we're stacking up treasures in heaven so that we can tap into those spiritual treasures when Jacob trouble comes. Uh -huh. Not oh, let's let's do this and do this and build the bunker. And, Da, 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 da. Right, right, right. And invest yeah. our money and right, yeah, yeah. let's just make as much money as possible and no bro we, we focus on being right in the eyes of the lord and stacking up spiritual treasure so when jacob trouble come we can tap and in, tap into that spiritual uh retirement fund man oh uh, like i said or or or, or uh, it, it, the, the the spiritual booties 
<laughs> spiritual booty. You know hey, what, what you mean? got? What you got saved up, man? Look, yeah, man. Look, man. Hey, Lord. Hey, look. What you got saved up, <laughs> man? Look, look, man. You say, oh snap, six, seven years doing the work, this, that, charity, not all. Okay, okay. Scoop, scoop, okay. Scoop, okay. You done, you done, you done, you done, you're, you're, the, the treasures that you have stacked up, right. man. The interest that are accrued oh, on it's it. called a spiritual portfolio. Yo, your yeah. spiritual portfolio, <laughs> man. Right. So when you go to apply for that position, look, listen. Here are my credentials. Hey man, top salary. Mm -hmm. This is my. This is what I. Hey man. In this case scenario, you want to be actually overqualified. Overqualified. Yeah, yeah. like you're overqualified. Yeah, exactly. That's but, but what is being overqualified? Diligence. Diligence. Mm -hmm. Diligence. Right. I'm pretty sure brother see our live go up what three, four, five times a week. Sometimes, man. Brothers' uh, uh, personal pages, they putting up vids even after camp or before camp. You know, this is diligence, man, because we understand what is at stake. Right. We understand what 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 what, what can be obtained from the works thereof. Right. Now, if we were sluggard, right, and the Lord cracked the sky, how much shame do you think you would have, knowing you could have done more? Would you be like? Shit breaks like damn the Lord here. Damn, is he gonna be me or am I gonna have to deal with the second death? Yeah, don't you don't want to feel like that. You want to be like the Lord here. I, yo, I, 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 I did my try. Come I on, you I ain't for chance to fly over. Yo, I feel like I did my best, man. Kind. And, gonna be, gonna be. and and I'm gonna make this clear, man. This, this also, this is not something easily uh, 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 obtained. Like having diligence isn't easy obtained because you gotta think you got things going on in your life. You got bills. Family, kids, whatever. But you have to keep focus, right? You have to keep focus, man. You have to have discipline. This is when your discipline kicks in, man. Because I come out here right after work. I, I work 30 minutes out. I drive over the bridge to Jersey, go to work, and the first thing brothers is talking about early in the morning is, can't, this time, Lord willing, what we doing? Did you read? Did you put up a vid? So right now, my whole day is like, all right, bro, as soon as I get out, you already know what you got to go do. And even if sometimes I'm like, I'm tired, I want to take a nap. But guess what? You got to think about what can be obtained. You know what? Take a nap after. I'm gonna just take a nap when that's done, because I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna put some more in my spiritual uh, 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 treasure chest, man. All right. I got some. Go it out. This is Joshua one and eight. The book, this book of the law, shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. But then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Mm. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid, neither be, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with, is, is with thee, whatsoever thou goest. God. Uh, uh, read it again, but slow it down. Right. Uh, sorry, hey, this is the book of the law. So not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate during day and night. That thou mayest observe to do to the according that is written therein, but then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. See, look, if you meditate therein, right, on this word, right, the comforter, the truth in life, right, you will have what? Great success. Right. That is also the success of getting and obtaining this, the kingdom of heaven. Because if you're doing what is written therein, nine times out of ten, Lord willing, you don't have to throw that in there. You probably elect because who are actually going to try to what to meditate therein who are going to actually try to do the things that are written right who else is actually doing this only those who have the spirit of the elect lord willing we are part of that number because we are trying to put on like the elect we understand that this must happen to obtain all that glory all right what you got up our brothers were speaking about diligence Diligence and consistency brings success. I got that's the gun. That's the basis. I need to find out. What is it? Uh, 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 what's that? Uh, 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 practice is the father of skill. Right. Right? So, diligence, synonymous with practice, or keep going. Practice is the father of skill, man. Showing diligence will, 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 will usher in a seat into the kingdom of heaven. Practice make perfect. We're practicing right now so we can become perfect. Down, it's down. all matched up. All the dots are connected. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
A city is builded and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. And only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water. You, you can even uh, quake, Shalakia, you can even equate the fire and water as what? The first death? Yep, yep. And the second death. And the second, the second death. death. Wow. Which what? The Lord flooded the earth with water, and he's come to what? Destroy the earth with fire. He cleans the earth with fire. He cleans the earth with fire. So guess what? You can equate those two, right? And then what? You have a straight path, right? To get in the mind you straight. A straight path is twofold. It's only straight, it's only one way to go. And also straight means what? Difficulty. So you got the first death and the second death through difficulty to see this great city. All right, go ahead. It says there's only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Mm -hmm. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he shall pass the if he shall never pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, uh, you know, I just want to uh, hit that. Uh, basically, no, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah per it, is, it is perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, put that working, brother. Yeah, put that working. Well, you bring us down, brother. Yeah. So, so with that, uh, Lord willing, I brought this out of this edifying to you, brothers. And we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to you. Double honor to the apostles and elders. We learn true from JMS. Blessings to the Aki Madera preaching his word with heart and sincerity. And blessings to the 144,000, one third entirely, the first fruits, the first fruits kingdom heaven. House of David, Nabiyah, Dawadah. Shalom.